Hello, and welcome to another round of Grand Arena Championships. This is Season 7, Week 1, Round 2. I'm Heathen13, and this round we are facing Knights of the Forsaken. So when it comes to this matchup, you can see that our uh, stats are very skewed in my favor. Lifetime banners, offensive wins, defensive wins, zones, rounds, and I'll explain later why that is. Um, but when you look at Zetas and gear, we're very close, uh, almost identical six stop mods, but I have almost twice as much speed as he does, um, which I think should help uh, play in my favor. Um, relics are essentially even as well. So let's look at the board and um, see what's going on. Let's see, we got a couple hours left to go. My uh, defense is here on the top. I put a, a Noop squad with Mission and Zalbar. Uh, a EP team that's pretty weak. I saved my Bastila this time for offense and a Jedi Knight uh, training team. Also my fleet is just a Millennium Falcon uh, but I kept Hound's Tooth again. Interesting thing with um, Knights of the Forsaken is he's played Grand Arena Championships before but he hasn't done it for months and months and months so I really hadn't didn't have a really good read on what he was going to set for defense. Um, you can see he took out my Shock T clones, and so far he's done one battle against my Jedi Knight Revan team. Uh, I didn't keep that on defense or for offense this time uh, because I wasn't worried about his Grievous team. So let's go ahead and look at uh, the defense he, he set me. Down here in the bottom zone, he set his Jedi Knight Revan. This is essentially his arena team, um, although he usually puts um, General Kenobi with them as well during arena, and I'm sure he puts out with Padme for his uh, Grand Arena Championships. And then a boss team. And in the top, we've got a CLS and JTR. I put both those on defense. Kind of odd for me to see. And then his best team by far are these Geos. So what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to go ahead and start on the bottom. And I'm going to get through that, see what's in back. And we'll go from there. So... I really struggled with figuring out what plan I was going to make, uh, how I was going to attack these guys, um, because I want to use my Geos in a couple places. I want to use my CLS, could be used in a couple places. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to try this Bosk team um, with my troopers. You can see Bosk only is 201 speed, and... Uh, over here at 189. Uh, I've checked them all. None of them are, are fast, or faster than my troopers. Now my troopers aren't good, so this could go south. But uh, if I can pull this off, then it does free up um, some more teams. So we'll give it a shot. We'll see what happens. I'm going to go straight in on Django here and see if I can't get a quick kill. And good enough. So let us see if we can keep this uh, train rolling. That was a mistake. Should have targeted somebody else on the AOE. And I'm a little worried because I just lost no. And he is one of my big damage dealers. So I'm not sure I can get through Bosk without him, uh, but hopefully with Death Mark coming from Death Trooper, uh, hopefully I will. 
He's only gear 12, um, so not crazy worried about it, but unfortunately, not going to get 60 banners. But just the fact that I was able to use a way, way, way lesser squad in order to make this happen is fantastic. And 57. 57 is decent. Alright. So, next. I want to open up the back. So I'm going to take my my uh, Padme squad here against this Jedi Knight Revan. And I'm going to go ahead and just take the whole squad. And of course they uh, focus on Anakin, so this could go terribly bad. But we'll see if we can't spin it back up and and do something here. Now, I gotta be honest, I don't think I've ever done this uh, this counter, but I know it works. It's supposed to be a hard cut counter as long as your Jedi Knight Anakin doesn't die, which he is about to. Um, so this could be really bad, but. It also, uh, if it works, it would be great. So, we will hope. Now, I like to take out Yoda first, even though um, you know he's just going to come back with the Savior. Uh, or rather, he's just going to come back after Jolie revives him. But I like to get the damage off the board, and then I'll go after Jolie. And since they don't have a tank, I'm not worried about... Uh, about getting to Jolie. And Jolie is, again, only gear 12 here. So. Should be able to take him out here before he gets a revive off. And if he doesn't, then uh, we'll just have to kill Yoda again. Not ideal, but there goes Joe Lee. Things are not uh, not getting anything clean today. But if I can take out both these squads, um, as we've seen the other, my opponent has already stumbled a couple times on mine and has gotten stuck. I don't know if he's going to, um, you know, come back and attack some more or not, or if he's just done. So if I can full clear or get close to full clear him I'll be happy um, pretty terrible banners there at 53 but the fact I didn't have to use my Darth Revan squad uh, makes me happy and up to Bronzian alright let's see what they have in the back for me uh, Ewoks and Phoenix alright well, um, Ewoks are going to get soloed by Nest, and uh, I did this last round, I feel like I do it almost every round, because when people invest in a team, they want to use that team, and I get that. Uh, I just think it's a really bad choice to put Ewoks on defense. Especially if you already see that the person has a nest. Um, don't really get that at all, why you do that, but uh, there you have it. The only reason you couldn't do this is if, you're, uh, if your nest wasn't modded for tenacity, but mine is. Uh, I think he's got like 144% tenacity, something like that. So he rarely ever gets stunned or... Um, days and it is one of those things that takes some time uh, I will do my best to speed up the video here if I can maybe I already have but Ness is super duper reliable um, and 63 banners for that so that's fantastic uh, 
I'm not gonna worry about this Phoenix squad for now. I'm gonna jump back up and do these. Now, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Darth Revan against their Geos. It's not a counter that I normally use, but they are by far and away my best squad. Um, I'm gonna swap out my Marauder and put in my uh, Sith Empire Trooper. Just so none of my damage dealers get uh, hit right off the bat. But it's looking like that's not going to make much difference anyway. So I'll hit him with the AoE. And even though these guys are really high relic, hopefully this doesn't uh, prove to be too problematic. Again, another counter here that I've actually never done before. So, um, interesting uh, trying these things on the fly uh, without ever trying them first. But this, uh, you know, Darth Revan is pretty much a counter for everything but gas and the new uh, legendaries. So, I wasn't too worried about it. Uh, 55 banners is not amazing, but that was a really, really, really relic out Geo team. So I'm happy with that. Um, I'm gonna take my Night Sisters here against this Jedi training ray. And we'll just go straight after BB 8 because BB 8 is. The uh, the key to this team, the little engine that could. I definitely need to work on my Night Sisters some more, but because of the Galactic Legends and trying to get other things up, um, trying to get my own Genoshin squad better so I can get Watt shards. It's just taken. It, a backseat, like so many other uh, teams, have to take a backseat to um, more pressing matters. We'll get Finn out so he can't heal, and then go back after BB-8. Normally, I put my Night Sisters on defense, even though they're not great. They do tend to get some holds here and there. Offense is a uh, frustrating to play with them sometimes because even when they do well oftentimes they still only get you 55 banners they just tend to lose um, their protection really easily so here we have 56 that time but again I know I don't have to worry about efficiency in this game I just need to win and against the CLS team uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and take my Geos. Um, again, they're not very good. Um, around gear 10 ish, 10 11. But I like them as a counter for a lot of teams. Um, and the uh, CLS being one of them, with Han shooting first, uh, you know, there's always the worry uh, on Han that he's going to take somebody out. Uh, just on those first shots and uh, So this is actually not going very well either I've lost two of my guys and I'm gonna lose the third and Geos didn't work at all So, I'll just mirror match him, which is fine. Maybe what I should have done to begin with. Um, I'll bring in Ezra with me and uh, oh, if I bring in Ezra, Ezra though, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose my guard. So rather than 
uh, bring in CLS. I'm going to go ahead and bring in Treya. And I'll bring in uh, my Marauder with him. And I'll hope that I don't get targeted. Uh, let's hope Han doesn't take somebody out right away. Okay, that's fine. Uh, definitely still could lose his foot. All those counterattacks, rough. It's a bummer, I lost Treya here before I even get going. But he has guard on R2, which is uh, fortunate for me. Let me um, go ahead and take out um, Chewie. Just a ton of stuns going off here, which is really kind of a pain. Hard to do anything when your team can't attack. So happy with that result. Um, CLS is actually the one that is relict for him, so maybe I should have taken him out first. But if I can live long enough, then Nihilus will come in and just annihilate him. A whole lot of battles. Really, really, really uh, going really sloppy today. And that's okay. Yeah, just stun after stun after stun. Thankful I kept Marauder for this. Um, just so I had some damage output. And if I can just get Nihilus out of stun ever. So he can annihilate. That would be fantastic. For now I'll just hit... Um, Old Ben, because that way, oh, and wouldn't you know, as soon as I have it up, Old Ben is taunting. I'm going to hold it, and we'll see if I can't get uh, back over there before he dies. Oh, there we go. And that was really, really, really ugly. But the win is a win is a win, so I will take it. Uh, for 28 banners. That's terrible. Uh, Alright, which leaves me just the uh, Phoenix here in the back. And I have my CLS left, so I will CLS that. I'll just three man it. Um, so as to not steal any uh, guard from anybody, from Luke. Um, Ezra's the only person who is. Uh, I'm worried about it all, so I'll go ahead and stun him. Now on this team, uh, this particular team, Kanan and Zev are only gear 8. Um, so we'll just tear through those guys, get them out of the way quick. Uh, Hera and Ezra were the gear 10s. So really, uh, kind of a garbage team here. just. In the back, I maybe he didn't expect me to get to the back, or um, you know, wanted to save some stuff for the for the uh, offense. Either way, uh, good result. And uh, he went and put his negotiator on offense, uh, which I have my negotiator to try to uh, counter him. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, at this point, I am just hoping to get through the, the battle. So I'm not going to worry about um, trying to undersize or do anything. But he doesn't have um, his houndstooth. So I'm not expecting a whole lot from this battle in terms of um, having problems with it. Uh, famous last words, right? Let's see if we can force him to not do that, which I didn't. So we'll go ahead and put my revive thing back on Anakin and keep chugging away. Ooh. What could go wrong today is going wrong today. Well, I'm going to go ahead and bring in 
the uh, clone sergeant just get another tank back in it's going rough if I lose this battle uh, I don't really have another fleet that can really come in and mop up I guess that Thrawn's ship with uh, like TIE silencer uh, maybe but things are not looking good at all so that's unfortunate give it another shot but this is really all I have uh, I like to put these guys in there and hope for the best if this doesn't work I'll come back in with my bugs and see if that can uh, work I left the other um, reinforcement open because the reality is if I don't kill them with these guys chances are low that um, I mean, chances are good that I'm gonna get taken out really quickly and if I get taken out quickly then there's no point in having a bunch of my best squads on reinforcement um, so we'll go ahead and give it a shot see what I can do um, I'm gonna let dude use the heal here and should be able to take out at least Ahsoka or not and there comes that reinforcement again. Wow, I am really struggling. At this point, I just need any kind of reinforcement so that I can get, you know, buy some time. And of course, Ahsoka just strips everything back off. Um, not gonna hit Ahsoka because I want advantage, but she's got um, counter. Yeah, this is over again. So my last shot here really is gonna be my bugs, um, and I like to keep Spy as a reinforcement. Uh, assuming I get to a reinforcement, maybe that's a bad idea this time. Maybe I should just start with it. But I, I do like him as a reinforcement. I'm going to go ahead and switch that. That's stupid. Again, I'm just going to keep that other um, reinforcement zone open because it's not. It's not going to matter. <laughs> I, I haven't got there yet. All right, and people are dead quick again. Uh, This is over. All right, well, that is where I'm going to end it because I'm not going to beat his fleet. Uh, this is the, my biggest criticism of uh, Grand Arena Championships is the fleet. Uh, you know, you go through seven battles on your characters and you strategize and everything and you can do well. Uh, sometimes you just can't beat their fleet. Often, I've lost several times because of that. So, um, in any event... We'll see if he can ever get through my Jedi Knight Revan. Uh, I don't know that he will, and if he can't, then I'll win. But, um, yeah, overall frustrating day. Lots of drop battles. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.